Man, what's up with the what's up? <clears throat> it's your boy Tyrone 100 back in the building with another edition of What's Really Good Entertainment. If you're checking in for the first time, hit the like button on the way in the door. Hit the subscribe button on the way out the door. If you've been rocking with the channel, well, I appreciate you. Stay tuned because you know I'm going to continue to bring you that fire. You feel me? So, today, and you see the title, you know my motto, I'm not going to hold you. Um, Today, we're going to be talking about if Young Thug is paying off Lil Woody to sabotage the trial so that they could get around this RICO indictment. If you want to hear more about this topic, make sure you tuned in. Make sure you locked and loaded. Make sure you stay to the end of the video because you already know it be busting over here. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So, you know, and if y'all want to go back to my previous videos to get my thoughts on the whole YSL Woody snitching allegations, you know, him being a big demon snitch at the same time, um, you know, all of the different videos that I did in the Young Thug and the YSL Rico, man, go back to my channel and check that out um, so y'all can get caught up to speed in case you want to understand my thoughts. I want to shout out to everybody that's rocking with the channel, man. Continue to like that like button up. Continue to share the videos and, you know, um, how do people subscribe to the channel? Because this is the best YouTube channel out there. Um, shout out to everybody that be getting in the comment section, leaving their thoughts and opinions. I try to get back to everybody um, as fast as possible. So I appreciate you rocking with me. But like I said, we're going to get right into it. I just wanted to give my acknowledgments real quick. But... This is what I think. I think that Young Thug or somebody in the YSL camp or somebody associated with Thug is paying off Lil Woody to throw this trial. Now, before y'all start saying I'm reaching and I'm doing too much, let me help y'all understand something about this entire trial that's going on. Okay, so y'all hear the testimony. Y'all hear the evidence. Y'all hear that... Lil Woody, he was already being hunted by Inglewood Family Bloods, which is the people's um that was affiliated with Big Nut, who got killed, who sparked, which allegedly sparked the whole war between uh Inglewood Family and YSL. YSL Woody was getting hunted by them. Okay, then it's it's alleged that. Young Thug found out that Lil Woody was snitching, going down there to the precinct, giving up information, and that now YSL members was going at Young Woody. So now you got to think about this. He got drama coming from all sides. He got people shooting up his house, people shooting up his brother's house. Uh, They tried to murder him and his girl, you know, shot at him, shot up their mother house. You know, any opportunity they get where they knew where he was, they was trying to take him out. He already said that he was paranoid and in fear of his life, and he was going down there giving information, right? So now with that being said, given the fact that he's already known as an informant, he's not good in the streets. It's only a matter of time before somebody catch up with him um, and, you know, put some crunch to his taco, right? In addition to that, he will not survive in prison if he's charged with anything because the entire world know that he's an informant. So you got to ask yourself a question. If he gave up all of this testimony and gave up all of these statements, which is the information that they use to indict Young Thug and YSL, why is he now pretending that he don't remember what he said? Come on, I'm, listen, everybody out there smart, this is a question you got to ask yourself. Why is he now all of a sudden trying to act like he ain't give up all of that information? It's not because he don't want to be labeled as a snitch because his videos and his information out there that says that he's a snitch. But he has to know, and him throwing this case they could potentially take his deal off the table, which give him full immunity, which means he can't be prosecuted. They could take that deal off the table and put him in jail. When they put him in jail, they could put him in jail for all of the past things that he wasn't charged with. He already claimed that he was a part of YSL and that he was doing things for Doug. 
so they could tie him into this whole Rico case. What other reason would he have to be jeopardizing his freedom? It's not about his reputation, because he already said it quite a few times he don't care about his reputation. But what is it that could possibly lead him to throw away the deal that he made with the prosecution where he's not going to go to jail to put him in a situation where they're going to take that deal off the table and he go to jail. If you look at homie Stromy on the stand, it don't seem like he living too good. It don't seem like he eating too good. And he got his family, you know, he got his, his kids, you know, he got his people that's in the hood that I'm pretty sure, you know, they've been going through it and people not really rocking with them because of, you know, what what little Woody did. So right now, it seems like this is a play for him to get to a bag so that he could be able to take care of his folks. And I think that somebody then reached out to that boy and they didn't, you know, put it in this air like, man, you going over here and you and get dug in the morph. Man, we got something for you. And, you know, we probably call the dogs off. See, it has to be something to benefit him to make him put himself in that predicament. And that's what I think. That's my thoughts. You tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think that he's throwing this case on purpose? Do you think that, like he said, he only got a third grade education? He's not thinking too well. Do you think uh, this is all accidental? Um, do you think that he just don't remember? Or do you think the pressure was put on him? If you didn't watch any of the Young Thug trial, you could just go back to my videos. I dropped a few videos on this topic. You could go back to the video so you could get caught up to speed in case, you know, you want to make a well-informed decision as well as you could check out some of my other videos. But I'm really, really thinking somebody reached out to him, be it Thug him, you know, somebody in Thug Camp or somebody close to Thug then reached out to this boy and told him like, yeah, man, we got this bag for you if you go in there and throw that trial. But if y'all feel something different, if y'all see something different, man, put that in the comment section. Um, hit that like button. Share this video so this video could get out there so we could do a poll to see how many people is for, how many people is against what it is that I'm saying. Because at the end of the day, we just trying to find out what's really good. You see what I'm saying? So... Without further ado, um, make sure you share the video and put your thoughts and your feelings and your concerns in the comment box. And I'm going to be sure to get back to you with another update on this whole YSL Rico trial featuring Young Thug, Lil Woody, a.k.a. Kenneth Copeland, the biggest in America. Man, that boy dirty and in the border hill. You feel me? Nah. I'm just playing. But shit, yeah, man, um, I'm out of here like last year. I'm going to check in with y'all in the next video. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And again, let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section. Yeetie.